We need to get that glute maximus strengthened up with a specific exercise. Excuse me. Mike's going to show how to do it in a quadruped or hands and knees position. I'll show how to do it in a standing position. Take it away, Mike. So I'm going to go on my forearms here for resting on my elbows, and I'm going to simply do butt pumps. Now, I'm not going to kick all the way up to the ceiling, the full range of motion, like the common butt pump exercise. We're going to simply lift up partway through the middle range. Now for beginners, you can certainly bring your feet in like this. This is going to isolate the glute max a little more. And you're going to do little oscillating movements. Mm -hmm. Do 30 repetitions to get that butt muscle firing properly. And then you're going to stop, switch, and do on the other side. Once it's easy, when your legs are turned in like this, you can bring it back to normal. If this becomes easy, you can simply take a cuff weight and strap it around your thigh like this, and then you can do the kicks as well. This will make it even more challenging if you are experienced. Now, if you can't get on your hands and knees, Brad will show another option. Right, and on your hands and knees, it's best not to do it in your bed. Too soft as a surface, it causes problems. On a carpeted floor or with a mat is best. Or the standing option, which I'll show now, at a cupboard, a table, whatever solid surface you may have. Bring your feet up, shoulder width, hands on the table. You can go to your forearms. I'm gonna go on my hands, bend the knee if I'm working my right hip. Bend that knee at 90 degrees or thereabouts. It doesn't have to be perfect. Bring it up. And just like Mike mentioned, we don't want to go up to the ceiling as high as we can like we're trying to, you know, meal kick somebody. We're just doing that mid-range motion and just a continual motion. Point or rotate the foot like this and that will isolate those uh, glute max muscle fibers even better. You do this 15 to 20 repetitions, you'll start to feel those muscles work in and those fibers work. Now this is something that we're not trying to make the muscle huge and hum humongous, we're trying to get the muscle to fire efficiently so it pulls back that femoral head and gonna solve the problem. 